I'm Zeph from T2N and welcome to Adventure Ride Chat, the place where all bikes are adventure and where the chat starts here with me and continues with all of us down in that comment area. And if you are new to this section of T2 One, please do consider subscribing. If you're new, also down below our Patreon website is linked and I would love your support and help. As far as we're concerned, last week I showed you on our Wednesday episode the installation of a fuse box on my AGS and I got a lot of questions on that questions that I would love to do this little video to answer. So all of us, majority of us at least, always add something onto our bike. May that be a GPS, heated clothes, well a lot of us, both of those plus some more. A lot of them do have inline fuses and those will prevent the bike from being damaged in case that accessory blows up or malfunctions, malfunctions in any way. But a lot of them, like USB ports, will not have a little inline fuse, meaning that if that malfunctions, it will mal malfunction your battery where you directly plugged it in or directly spliced into your bike's line, which I strongly disadvise, and that can damage your entire bike. So it is a little bit pointless and dangerous to have, let's take a USB port, that can damage your entire bike. What can we do to prevent that? We can install a fuse box exactly like the ones we have at home. When an appliance in our home kind of goes awire, a little fuse is gonna jump on our box and the entire house remains working. Or even if everything shuts down, the entire house is safe and only that line might need replacement if so. So I decided for this specific fuse box, the price was right, was the only one I could find in the market that would suit my bike, but I've seen craftier people than me making their own fuse boxes and there's a lot of choices in the market. If you have bikes like mine, like BMWs, just keep in mind that some fuse boxes will not work with a bike because the bike will generate an error. So keeping that in mind, do your own research and you will find various options in the market. For me, another great thing that a power box will allow me to do is it will allow me to have everything not only marked, but my OCD will be happier because instead of having 10, 15, 5 accessories plugged into the battery, sometimes having to need a bigger screw to put everything in the battery, it will be connected to a fuse box and everything's going to be perfectly aligned, everything's going to be cleaner. And in terms of troubleshooting, in terms of needing to put one, take another off, makes everything easier because a lot of bikes, every time you take the battery on and off to replace one of the accessories, the bike is going to reset and it's going to tell you you need to go to the mechanic to clear the service light. The bike will not need a service, but it will keep telling you that and for a lot of people, that's kind of annoying on a long term, so please do keep that in mind. Another thing that the fuse box allows you to do is a lot of them allow you to choose if you want always power or if you want power only when the bike is working. If you splice something into the bike's electrical system, you do have that choice, but if you plugged it into the battery, you're always having power. So let's say a GPS. You have your GPS charging directly into your battery, as long as your GPS is on the bike, is charging. So you go, you stop to go to a coffee, you stop to fuel up or to talk to some mates, you forgot to unplug your GPS. When you go back to the bike, your battery is dead. A box like the one I have and like many others in the market will allow you to drain power from the battery and drain a third wire from the bike that you can put directly into your ignition or into the lights. Into the lights, that's the choice I did, because like this, when I turn the bike on, the lights go down as the bike protects itself, it cuts power to the lights, and when it starts, it gives juice to the lights, now I give juice to my box, and on my box, now that the bike is running, I will be able to power up everything that I plugged into the bike. And for me, that's great, because as soon as I turn the key off, even if I forget to take the accessories off the bike, they will not be draining power from my bike. For me, that's absolutely great. So that's the choice I did, that's why I did it. A cleaner bike environment, a better, safer way to have all my accessories plugged into my bike and be sure that my battery is not gonna be drained. Allow me to mark everything. Now I know what's what coming from the fuse box and in case I wanna take one off and put a new one. I don't need to take the battery off or to unplug the battery and it works perfectly well for me. 
I would obviously love to know if you guys use a fuse box, if you guys ever felt the need to do so. I'll be honest with you, if I only had one or two things, most likely I would splice them into the battery with an inline fuse. It would save me the same way, but in case you have three, four, five, six, I've seen some people with more than one fuse box from how many things they have on the bike, but I would love your opinion. Did you do your own? Do you use one? If you do, which one? Down below is the place for us to talk a little bit further on this. As far as we're concerned, if you're not yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing, hitting that big thumbs up and that subscription bell, and I'll see you guys next Saturday.